In this episode, I finally finished the spray and insulation. I work on the fuel tank to get that fitted. That landed. And I start the coving work. In previous videos, I explained the process with applying the spray on insulation. And here I am completing the cleanup in preparation for starting the timberwork fit out. It was another easy job that I welcomed. I've finished scraping the uh, foam where I'm going to be putting the, uh, the timber strips for securing all the lining and uh, cleaned all that off so big mess in here with foam everywhere but um, as you can probably hear the rain has started again it's been showers on and off all morning and uh, I'm just loving the cool weather, I've got to say it on camera. Right on down, fine by me. Protected gear, covered. Uh, anyhow, as I say, I'm going to now clean up all these sheets. Then I'll have to sweep up all the zillion bits of foam up, clean up. I've done where the camera is, basically that whole starboard quarter is all done. So the only remaining bits of foam to clean up are right at the aft end 
and the port side there, which comparatively is not much, uh, almost done really. But then I will continue on cleaning the foam off the beams for, for the remaining bits of the boat and then I'll be doing the epoxy fairing compound coving to all of the hull floors and beams from the end of the insulation all the way down to protect basically underneath the beams and hull floors where they touch the plate so that there will never be a water issue causing corrosion there. And then after I've done the coving, I will be spraying this whole flooring area, um, polyurethane white, same as the engine bay, and that will be the finish of the full preparation for the next stage, which is timber. Thank goodness, yesterday I actually ordered the rosewood, so um, that should be ready next week. And yeah, there's just so many small things that I can be doing as well now. It's a lot of fun actually. After I have uh, done the coating and painted all this bottom area, it's timber time. That I'm really looking forward to. Well, it's looking pretty good. Uh, it's basically everything done. We've just got a wee bit of the, uh, sorry about the camera. Um, just got a wee bit at the back there around the transom. But, uh, and that's only a small amount. So basically it's done. Have a look. An awkward shape to carry by yourself. <laughs> Such is the life of a boat builder. Anyhow, I've got to cut off a bit on the fuel filler pipe. It's a bit long in order to install. And I've also put in some three runs of rubber strip. I'm going to um, adhere those with the Fix Tech 15 or Fix 15.
excitement of getting the tank in, I uh, forgot to film. So anyway, it's just about in. I'll have to struggle a little bit now, I think. Um, it's almost down, but um, it went in pretty easy. I um, was actually quite surprised, so that's, that's good, fingers crossed, that it continues. Let's see. That looks spot on. Absolutely perfectly in line with the brackets. I'll get the camera over and show you in a sec. As the saying goes, custom made. <laughs> that bracket sitting nicely. Yeah, as you can see there, look at that. God. It's a perfect line. So, bracket alignments absolutely spot on. That one there, spot on. Very good. Happy. Loving the jobs. So, just sanding around the frames where I'm going to put the coating to give it some bite to uh, adhere properly because I will put some high build epoxy 605 over the um, epoxy coating before I put the top coat over. The, the top coat really needs an undercoat prime or primer undercoat, so this does marvellously for that. I will make mention, um, unfortunately, Papua New Guinea suffered a series of rather significant major earthquakes, and um, I've been called to go back to work to be part of a humanitarian aid team. Uh, so I'll be heading back Thursday, today's Monday, uh, unexpected, but um, of course I'm more than 
willing and happy to help. So, here we are, all packed up again, uh, as I mentioned last video. Been called back to work for uh, humanitarian reasons in PNG where I work. Uh, the PNG government requesting help from the company I work for and the guys there need to be relieved. So I've had to pack everything up as I do, pre-heading off for work, so I'll show you what that looks like. So I get all of the gear off the cockpit and just put it on the boards. It's all pretty neat and because it's, almost all of it's in buckets, um, Pretty easy to just pick up and put down below. So that's what that looks like. And the newly acquired Papua New Guinea and rosewood, which I'm pretty damn pleased with, I must admit, looks like very, very good timber. Uh, 18 pieces of 50 by 150 or um, 2 by 6 in the metric world. Uh, sorry, in the imperial world, but anyhow, that's below, stored, supported, so that shouldn't move. It's all kiln dried. Uh, very, very happy with Britain timbers. Uh, if I need more timber looking ahead, and I'm sure I will, I'll be going back to them. So yeah, that's what the boat looks like when I'm packed up. In the next episode, everybody, I build a makeshift woodshed in setting up for the soon-to-start timber work fit-out. I hope that you can join me.